in town realizes what a what a great resource the lake is. And so we'd kind of like to get on board um, with with you and um, and I'm sure you with us. Um, one thing that's uh, that's consistently been coming up is the uh, the testing and the results of the E. coli. And uh, consequently, the lake has been shut down several times in the last few years. So um, we're, we're wondering about the testing, the testing for that. Um, we have done uh, testing in the past um, a couple, two or three years ago, we did E. coli testing in 10 spots around the lake. Um, matter of fact, uh, Joan went to a, a company this afternoon over in Westboro. We're looking into, into testing through the uh, the name of the lab that she went to today was the Alpha Lab over in over in Westboro. Um, so we're we're thinking about that, looking at that. We have an application for that. But um, again, E. coli is one of the things I'm sure you know that um, has been affecting the lake um, in 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 the past. Um, one of the things that um, we would like to talk to you about, and I'm sure you saw it in in the letter that that Kat um, sent to you was um, the septic <coughs> systems around the lake. Um, we 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 realize that there are some septic systems that are, are still in place because most of the places around here, including the place that I'm in, my father had a summer cottage here and knocked it down, built a year round house, but had to upgrade the, the septic systems. Um, the septic system. So we would kind of like to get on board with you about the septic system, the septic systems around the lake to see if, if they're all up to date and if, if that is affecting the E. coli. Um, we know on the board that there are some that we saw on, on one of the lists that, that some of the some of the system, the systems that are, that are on the lake are still called cesspools and I, we know that those are are not uh, applicable anymore. Uh, so we'd kind of like to talk about that to see if we can get an upgrade on those that that uh, aren't up to code anymore, the ones that uh, are on the list, and if we could if we could work together on that. Um, also, the the other thing that uh, that goes hand in hand with that is the um, the list of of the pumpings. Um, we got a, li a list. I'm not sure of the date on that. the The list of the pumpings. I know. I it. I believe that when a, a system is pumped out uh, by a contractor, it has to be recorded at the town hall. And um, some of them, we we don't have. We we don't even know when the last time that they were that they were pumped out. Um, and we're wondering if that affects the E. coli too, if, because if they assess pools and um, you know systems that aren't being up, updated, then um, is that affecting the E. coli? So um, that's that's one of our main issues is the septic systems. We, you know, um, hand in hand with that, we know that there's a that there are beaver dams which are affecting the uh, the le the water level of the lake. And if the water level of the lake is high, we're just wondering if the water is seeping into the uh, into the uh, the grounds of of areas, and if if that water is then seeping back into the lake after it has been uh, uh, after it has seeped into a septic system, so you know we're we're, we're quite concerned about septic systems. So um, that's that's kind of our take. Um, I don't know if anybody else on the on the association wants to chime in, or any of you gentlemen would like to. Okay, please let me let me start with a. Um, uh, this is Andy Chairman. I would like uh -huh. to respond to some of the things that you just said, Wayne, and I'm sure that Alan has things that he would like to add to this. <clears throat> First off, let me just ask you, you, you mentioned that you, your testing, you've been doing it in multiple locations around the lake. First right. of all, how, how have those results come back? Are they consistent or are they up and down and all over the map? First of all, and second of all, is that a state certified lab or is it um, a... It 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 was. Uh, I'm not sure about that. That was done through Joan. I maybe if I give you the name, you would know Blackstone River Lab. It um, sounds familiar. Um, Jack, could you please look that up and see if they are a state certified lab, please, while we're talking? Do you know yes. what the results were, uh, Wayne? 
I'm sorry, what? The results, they, you said multiple multiple locations. Are they consistent all around the whole lake or the, is one area heavier than the other, one area lighter? The the heavier the heavier um, areas, I'm just looking to see if Joan is on there. Joan, Joan are you on? Okay, nope, I don't see her. The heavier areas seem to be um, the pathway by the um, over by the beach and in front of the yacht club where there's a, a drain that comes off of Route 16. Those seem to be the higher levels. Um, the other areas we did over in front of um, over by um, the the garage over on on Millville Road. We did in front of uh, Alicante's. We did in front of Grandview over at the outlet. Those all seem to be fairly consistent. Okay, so judging by what you just said, those two areas, the um, the beach and the yacht club being heavier, there are catch basins by the side of the road that Correct. could be grabbing road salt, but I don't think road salt is going to attribute to E. coli. I know that when we were testing the lake and the lake would get shut down, we ended up having a conversation with, we brought our, um, Alan probably remembers the woman's name that came in and to our meeting at the town hall. And we came up with testing the beach in four locations and then taking the average. And by doing that, we came up with a legal, you know, a, a, a safe uh, number for the, so we didn't have to close that that often. Alan, could you chime in, please, on that? And I'm sure you remember that that in, uh, meeting. Uh, yes, I remember that meeting. I believe we were in the upstairs of the town hall. Uh, yes. It was a, a very uh, nice young lady that came from. Uh, I can't think of the name of the lab, but it was in the Worcester area, if not in Worcester. Uh, I believe it might have been on Plantation Street in Worcester for some reason. Um, and she, you know, uh, explained the uh, the levels and the significance of the numbers with us. Um, and she also made the statement that if the septic system in the area were in failure and affecting the lake, the numbers would be thousands and thousands. Uh, it would almost be uh, no doubt because of the, the, the level of uh, the number uh, that there was, you know, something going wrong with a septic system in the area. Um, and I also believe that the, the Lake Nipmuc Association, that the lab that you're using is not state certified uh i believe we had this discussion okay. before um and we informed the association uh that in order for us to be able to uh act on something that it would have to be a state certified lab um so that's the way i recall it that's the location and that's you know uh the results of that meeting back to you mr chairman Thank you, Alan. That's the way I remember it also, and I knew you'd have clarity on that. Thank you. Um, so I do remember what she said about the septic systems. If, in fact, it was household septic systems that were leaching into the lake, the numbers would be astronomical. So so currently, the that lab did not feel that it that was attributing to the issue. One of the aspects that we, we through many... Um, Many uh, meetings and conversations, the geese were subject, suspect. The right. species from the geese was suspect of, of causing the equalite to be um, higher in, in some areas. Um, back to pumping records. Wayne, you, you mentioned that you want to see pumping records. So do we. We mandate that when we issue an awful permit. An awful permit is the permit that the Board of Health issues to a septic caller and or a trash hauler so that they can be regulated and we know what they're doing where they're doing it and they're supposed to contribute once a month all their pumping records for any household that they've pumped in the town of Mendon. we do not get them we hit we chase them and chase them and chase them missy was a great asset for that and mm -hmm. and we got we got some good results but we are not getting from the haulers um and there is no mechanism in place aside from not giving them an awful awful permit 
and the, and as a result, they just keep doing the work anyway. So how do we chase them? Well, wow. yeah, we, yeah. We, our hands are tied. Unfortunately, we do have a, we do have a process, but the process is being ignored on many levels. Cesspools, wow. um, cesspools can work equally as well as a septic system. A cesspool can pass a Title V inspection for the sale of a house if, in fact, you can prove that the bottom of the cesspool is higher than four feet of separation from the groundwater. I hope that makes sense to you, but that is a true statement that cesspools can pass. Majority of them do not because they were always hand dug and they were put wherever they could find earth to, to bury whatever they put in there, a 55 gallon drum or a concrete structure or a barrel blocks, whatever. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. cesspools can pass, but like I say, majority of them don't. And they do, as you stated, when the beavers um, do their thing and the water level on the, on the lake rises, the water can come in and come mm -hmm. out again. If, in fact, one of those are leaching into the lake, that's an area where you would find astronomical numbers. Uh, the beavers, there are, <clears throat> we issue beaver permits often to Alan Tatro, the highway surveyor, and he has a, um, a trapper that traps beavers right. all around town. There is an issue over by Kenny Forbes' house on the outlet right. side yep. that has been addressed numerous times. And yep. I'm sure you're well aware of that because you people yep. have done some work in chasing that down. So that's, that's um, pretty much in it in a nutshell for all the things that you have, have raised questions, all, all viable and, and great questions. And that's to best of my ability. That's the response that I can come up with. Alan, would you like to add something to any of those? Uh, the only thing that I would add is, uh, Wayne, we are more than willing to work with the uh, association. Oh, absolutely. Uh, in yeah. Any, yeah in, in any way we can. Um, I would even be willing to attend, uh, you know, one of your meetings if it was, you know, possible with my work schedule uh, to meet everybody and to, you know, hear what you guys are up to uh, and maybe, you know, uh, give you some guidance uh, if, if I had any to offer. Um, so we're always willing to work with you. But one of the big things uh, in order for the Board of Health to act on anything related to the E. coli or any other levels that you're testing for is uh, a state certified lab is a must. And we have yeah. found in the past that there, there was a lab, I can't remember the name of it, that was state certified. And they were doing, I believe, well water testing and they lost certification because they weren't uh, operating within the parameters that the state set. So if it's a state certified lab, it has to be a state certified lab that is actively certified. So uh, these are okay. important questions that you guys need to ask when you hire a lab uh, in order for us to be able to assist you. Uh, thank you very much, and I look forward to working with you. Back to you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Wayne, do you have something that you'd like to add to us, please? I just I just wanted to say that um, Joan, uh, Calderella, uh, she went over today to a lab in Westboro. I will I will look that up um, to see if that is uh, state certified. Maybe I don't know if you know if you know this. It's um, Alpha Labs in in Westboro. I believe it's the lab that um, Upton uses as well. Um, and uh, we'll look at that. Um, but their their rates their their costs seem uh, pretty pretty reasonable. Um, so I'll I'll look into that, but yeah, I would you know I would love to have have a good communication uh, with with you guys and uh, have you have you come to the come to the meetings as well, Mr. Chairman. This is Jack. Uh, we do have Lonnie Tinio on the line who does have his hand raised. Good evening, Lonnie. Thank you for joining us. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having me, and uh, glad to be here. Um, <clears throat> one quick thing. Um, Wayne, you were talking about the uh, the testing at the two kind of drainages, one off of Taft Ave and one off of 16. Uh, I know that some work has just been done on Taft Ave um, with uh, correcting the roadway there, and there's a planned 
big renovation of the beach itself, which is going to include um, repairing some of that drainage that was there, what, what's left to be repaired, because uh, a lot of it was uh, done with the change that Alan did. Uh, again, not sure if the E. coli is coming in from that drainage area, but if it is, hopefully that these uh, the repairs will help to alleviate that problem. Uh, the one that comes in off of Route 16, Alan and I were on a walk today with VPW, sorry, with the Mass DOT about the Route 16 uh, project that's being done. And unfortunately, we were hoping that it was going to reach down to that catch basin, uh, but we were informed today that it's not. Uh, but Alan and I talked a little bit more about it and with the DOT uh, person that was there. And uh, it's my understanding that it's a very troublesome catch basin, not only knowing that it, you know, all the sand and silt ends up in the lake from it because it's got some sort of metal plate on it that doesn't actually catch the sand and silt, which can then can be pumped out. So right. not sure where we're going to get with this, but today we breached the subject with the DOT that we're going to see if we can get that, even if it's, if you know, if they'll allow us to do it at the expense of the town to repair that catch basin. So it at least contains the silt, which then can be cleaned out a couple of times a year or once a year, whatever it may need. So the, that uh, both of those locations are on the radar and I will keep you guys abreast uh, as we find out any new information. Great. Then I yeah, would like to invite you to the meetings uh, meetings too. That's that that's good news because we've we've, we've noticed that. Uh, that's that area as well. Thanks. Thanks for that. No problem. Just let me know um, if you want to send the, your, your meeting invites to uh, or just let me know where I can check on the agendas uh, so I can get them in my calendar so I can attend with you guys. We're always the uh, the second Tuesday of the month. Thank where you. do you meet, Wayne? Uh, we meet at uh, Grandview. Oh, OK, thank you. Th thank you for all of that, Lonnie. Fine. Mr. Chairman, this is Jack again. We do have a Catherine as a guest who has her hand raised. Good evening, Catherine. Welcome. Hello. So I just wanted a little bit of clarification on a couple of things. So I know you guys do the testing by the beach, you know, to make sure that is fine for the public. Do you test any other parts of the lake? Currently, we do not know. Okay. So my thoughts are just being, so you said, you know, when the water level rises and it kind of goes in and out and then potentially say a septic or a cesspool is bad, then the numbers would spike. But so it's basically on us to test those areas when the, Correct. okay. But then do you guys have an updated list of what properties have septics versus cesspools versus tight tanks? We were working on that. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Missy, our administrative assistant, has moved on to another town. We Jack is here for the, about the first month now. There somewhere is a file we, as soon as we can find yeah, it. I'm sure. I, that so, sorry, we do have that file, but it seems pretty not up to date. Yeah, we, so, do have 100%. we do not have 100 percent. No. Yeah. OK. OK. So our file is probably the same that you have. Um, OK. And then the other question I had was about the beavers. So and the muskrats, we have quite a quite a bit of both of them. Um, so is that something we need to fill a permit out? I saw online there's a permit for the beavers and muskrats. Do we need to fill that out in order to Yes, if, you're going, trapper. If, you're, if you're going to hire a trapper, yes, the, the permit is generated at the Board of Health with all the pertinent yep. information so we know where you're working on that and who your trapper is. So we don't have a trapper, but could we have Alan and his trapper do it? Is that how we would go about it? To yes, the, the man that Alan uses is an outside entity and he gets paid for his work. Yep. Through the town, okay. I assume? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we would just go online, fill out that application, and then you if guys... If you were going to use Alan at the highway department, you should yeah. contact Alan first. Okay. And let him, let him figurehead it because he has it down pat. 
He's been trapping all over town. Not that you can't do it, but no, um, if, you're yeah. going to use, if you're going to use Alan and Alan's funds, then you should contact Alan and go through him. Okay, well, yeah, we we can we can do that. That's easy. That's easy enough. But we yeah. kind of like to like to break that up so that we can, you know, drop the water levels down. Oh, know. absolutely, sure. Definitely, yeah. And however, it's higher, it's higher it's this year it. than it's been in the past. And then my last question would be, who does your testing and is it state certified? That way we can hopefully find a place. I believe, we can use. I believe it's Michael Back Labs. Michael Back? Mike, Michael Back. Alan, is that the one that got, um, was that the well, well testing that got uh, revoked or was that, I think Michael Back was the well testing one that got revoked their, their certification. Okay, so maybe you have uh, some <clears throat> go ahead, Alan. AJ, AJ, when you're ready. Yes, go ahead, Alan. Your turn. Um, no, I believe Microback was the lab that we were using. We can confirm that with uh, Dan Beyer. Okay. The lab that was doing the well testing certified, I believe it was the same lab that uh, Tineo Corp was using. Yes. Their wells. Okay. Was it Microback? Microback was the one we were using for the late. Okay. <clears throat> and they're yeah, state certified, I, so that's something we could use? Yes. Yeah. We wouldn't okay. use it if it wasn't state certified. We're not going to use the same company. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, if I could just jump in, I believe it was called ADT, <clears throat> and it was the um, <laughs> it was actually being used by the, the well drillers in the area, uh, a couple of them actually. Um, Darling. And, and they... Yeah, Darling uses it, and then uh, whoever uh, WGB was using, and then yeah, it was all of a sudden became off the list. So we, they all started using a, a new one. So um, yeah, I know I believe it was called ADT, and I can look it up if you need me to. I'm sure I have the results somewhere. Yeah. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay. If you Lonnie. have it, Lonnie, could you forward it to to me? If if you have a, um, if you happen to find Absolutely, that. Absolutely, Wayne. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, that's all my questions. Thank you. All righty, thank you. Does anybody from the lake else from the Lake Association have any questions or concerns for us? I just well, think I think you know, I, I would like to uh, I'd like to work with all of you guys and get everybody all on the same on the same page. That, I mean, this is a it's a beautiful lake. It's a great resource, and I think if we all work together, we can keep it that way. I think so too, and you're right about that. Any time that I've had opportunity to spend on Lake Nipmuc, it's been quite a joy. <clears throat> Have there, um, I, I guess that's, that's it. Thank you very much everybody for joining us and the best way to get a hold of us is to call Jack. We now have someone in the office or email Jack and we will get together. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All righty. Mike Sussman, have you joined the meeting? Not yet. Not yet. All right. What is the next subject? I closed the website. Uh, the third one on the list was update on tobacco enforcement. Thank you. Have we had any updates? Nothing new to report. There was. Uh, right. Have you heard from that? Uh, I cannot remember their names that was going to work with us was they joined us on the meeting. Two times ago, because I missed the last two meetings. Three times ago. Alan, do you remember their names? <clears throat> it was a couple of women, wasn't it? Alan? Yeah, sorry about that. I was, my fat thumbs were getting in the way. Um, I, Joan Hamlet, I believe, was the uh, woman from Lemonster. 
uh, and it escapes me. Uh, give me a minute. I'll look it up. The woman that was uh, working in this area already, Jody, and she talked about doing uh, per diem inspections, and we needed to work out the details with Jody. So that was put on the list, uh, on the agenda, because I wasn't sure if that was being worked on. I do remember now because one, the one in Lemonster, the woman in Lemonster that you said, she's like the head of the association, if you will, or, or whatever the group is. And that's where she was going, the other girl was going to work per diem, but she had to do, I don't know, I don't remember or know what was supposed to be worked on, Alan. Uh, it goes back to the meeting of 42722. Um, I thought the details that needed to be worked out were it was um, so much an inspection or so much an hour plus mileage. Uh, and she mentioned that where she was already in the area, uh, she could kind of split the mileage with some of the other uh, people or other towns that she was responding to. Um, I thought information was passed on to us I could be mistaken I don't see it in my notes um, but we really need to uh, my understanding we really need to work with her now as far as getting that going um, okay. I'm sure on our end we need to give her a list of um, uh, convenience stores or uh, liquor stores that sell tobacco you remember correctly one a big part of uh, their program is to send something out and educate uh, everybody before they come out and start doing inspections yes so we need to it's my understanding we need to uh, get together with Jody okay any suggestions how we do that uh, hang on. Let me see. I had Joan's information, so we could probably get hold of her through Joan. Would she need to come in and see Jack and give us all her um, schedule of fees? Well, yeah, I, I would assume we also need maybe some information so that we can pay her. Yeah. So I will forward um, Joan. I will forward Joan Hamlet's inf contact info to Jack. And if Jack has the opportunity to reach out to Joan, I'll send you her email. Uh, reach out to Joan and get contact info, uh, and then get together with her. Um, to find out, you know, when she can uh, get going. Maybe actually before you even contact Jody, uh, Jack, you might want to talk to, um, I'm thinking maybe uh, a human relations girl. She might have the information that required for her to work for us. Okay. Um that way there, when you have a conversation with Jody, you, you'll know exactly what she needs to do. Okay. So I will forward you Joan Hamlet's email information so that you can track Jody down. Okay, sounds good. I will do that. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Alan. Mike Suspan yet? Not that I see. Okay, he told me this week he was going to join us. Okay, that's about it for tobacco. All right, number four on the list is update on hazardous waste day. I just saw your email today, Jack. Um, it's a good job. I yes, we are in talk. Said. We are in talks with our clean harbors. We're just waiting on a contract, but everything is, looks good so far. 
We are trying to schedule along with a shredding day with E.L. Harvey, which is scheduled for November 19th, 2022 at the highway department. But again, I'm just waiting on Clean Harvest to send me the paperwork for the board's review. Okay. I'm text, trying to text um, Mike Suspan while we're talking because we uh, had a couple of things. Hang on one second. He said he was going to join us because he had some concerns about not getting a non pickup list. Um, the, the houses are, that are not currently paid up are getting picked up and it's costing the town money and tonnage. So we wanted to get that straightened out and get that going again. Okay. Hey, did you, when Missy came to meet with you, Jack, did she give you any kind of uh, education pertaining to what we call a no pickup list? Uh, I've heard of it from Jody, the treasurer. Um, other than that, I've had no discussion with how it's being done or how it's being like uh, modified or whatever. Um, with Missy, I only had two hours with her last Friday. We were just basically going over uh, the forms and my daily responsibilities, weekly, monthly. But again, she's coming back this Friday, and basically my two hours with her for this Friday is basically nothing but trash and how to the no pickup lists and updating awesome. invoices. Awesome news. Did you by any chance get, is Lonnie still on the call? Uh, Lonnie still shows up, but I think he is away. Okay. I know that um, Missy said that she told you to reach out to Lonnie to uh, get into her emails because there was a lot of information for you. Yep, I did that yesterday with Lonnie and Colin, and I do have access to her uh, Outlook emails now. Awesome. Good news. Thank you. Okay. All righty. What do you want to talk about next? Uh, number five on the list is update on the BNA contract. Okay. I did, I did speak with Tom this afternoon. Tom has reached out by voicemail and email to Michelle McGovern, who's the executive director of Salmon BNA Services in Milford, and he hasn't heard back from her regarding the contract. Tom said he may swing by this week in person to see if we can get the ball rolling. Okay. That's it then, right? That's it. Alan, do you have anything to add for those last couple of subjects? Uh, no. Um, my only concern about hazardous waste day, um, I think it's going to be temperature sensitive. Uh, where it's mid-November. Yep. Um, the other thing is, obviously, we're going to have where we're changing the time of year um, by quite a bit. Uh, we're going to have to publicize the heck out of it. Because obviously, we want to get a good response and we want people to get in there quick so that they don't get shut off. As far as the VNA contract is concerned, uh, there is a little, obviously Tom knows that there's a little bit of sense of urgency on that because that the new contract would go into effect on July 1st. Um, and that's about it on that. And then the only thing is there's one other agenda item that we uh, that I would like to address when the time comes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, let's hear it. Um, I would like to discuss restructuring the board. Um, I okay. enjoyed being vice chairman, but I'm willing to uh, step down and be a, just be an Indian. So I don't know if you and Tom uh, want to switch places, if Tom just wants to be vice chairman. Um, but I've been on the, the vice chairman side for a while, and I'm willing to uh, pass the baton. Okay. Well, thank you for all that you have done over the past few months and for all your time on the board, Alan. You are, as I've told you many times, 
You are a wealth of knowledge and you bring a lot to this board. You're caring about the town. You know about a lot of the people of the town and you take good notes. <laughs> I like that because I don't. <clears throat> so I, well, I, 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 go ahead, Alan. I do appreciate that. And uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy being part of the team. Cool. Uh, before I forget, just to let you know, I did go see Ellen yesterday and got sworn in. So this is a legal meeting. Uh, so I can't swear at you now? You can do whatever you like. Probably shouldn't <laughs> do it on the recording, though. I know. Um, so like I said, uh, I'm, I'm willing to, uh, you know, different... Here's uh, the way I would like official... to leave it. Um, here's the way I would like to leave it. Uh, it's up to Tom. Whatever Tom would like to do, if he wants to be the chief, he can certainly take over, and I'll be vice chair, or he can take vice chair, and I'll stay where I am. I'm not fussy. I don't care. I think we're all doing okay. a good job. And, um, it gets taxing on us, as you know, and we're, we're it's we're doing the un we're doing the best we can for the ungrateful. Not everybody. A lot of people are grateful, but we try. We're doing it all for nothing. For free. No. Agreed. And, and like I said, I enjoy being part of the team. I just didn't know if it was, uh, uh, it, I think it's been a while since we've, you know, shuffled things around and I just wanted to bring it, you know, to uh, everyone's attention. And if uh, a reshuffling is uh, appropriate, I'm all for it. Okay. All right. Then uh, I think that's it as far as the agenda items. Uh, I, Jack, I don't know if there's any, uh, other things that you, uh, need to discuss that are, you know, old business, et cetera. Uh, old business, we do have about six items on there. Uh, old business number one was septic installer permit. Okay. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, do you have any forests that need our attention? Uh, nope. It's been pretty quiet this week. The only thing that I need the attention of is the, um, Danielle, the health inspector has a couple of certificates for food trucks that need to be signed by either you or Andy. Uh, those are at the office. Um, and that's basically what I need for signatures for you guys. Tom has already been in and signed, uh, signed off on them. All right. Uh, what time do you come in in the morning? I'm there by 6:30 in the morning. All right, I will. Uh, I will stop by tomorrow morning and put my John Hancock down. Okay. Uh, the other thing that was brought up by Missy last week when I was with her with my one-on-one, -on -one, she asked me to ask you guys if you wanted me to sign on your behalf with your approval and put my initials next to it, if that's what you guys would like. That is that is a legal thing to do, but you should contact each and every one of us. Not all, all uh, that's wrong term. Say it was a, something that needed a chairman's signature. Call me and, or, yep. or Tom, if he takes it, tell me what's, what you have for paperwork. And then I will ask you, please sign it and initial it. That's the legal way to do it. You can, I don't I believe you, you can just willy nilly, just, not willy nilly, but just without <laughs> checking with, with whoever. Um, no, to, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't sign your name without you seeing what I'm actually going to be asking for your sign, signature for. So, yeah, I would do that first. Thank you. Okay. All right. The next one on the old business is awful permits. Again, that's just the um, nothing new there. Tobacco permits, I have nothing on that. Um, I don't even know if there's a tobacco list of sales in Menden do you guys know of? A tobacco list? Yeah, like a list. I know that we were going to talk about see if uh, we could find stores, a list of stores that sell tobacco for this uh, uh, tobacco sure enforcement agency. Yeah, All right, I'll ask that. I'll ask Miss Key for that on Friday as well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, number five was review minutes and set next meeting date. <laughs> Okay. Is, is, Two weeks from today. 
Go ahead. Two weeks from today, I'm um, look at my calendar here. Two weeks from today would be Wednesday, June eighth. All right. AJ, you good with that? Sure. So Wednesday eighth, seven PM. Are we gonna stay uh remote? Yes. Jack, do you need me to do the agenda for that date? Uh, no, like I just wanted you to do it the first time around, and I think I can do the next one. Okay. All yours, pal. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I appreciate uh, in that. The past, in the past, for the most part, um, what we needed to discuss, um, just based on what went on for the two weeks in between meetings, you know, what came up. Okay. Yep. Um, but you know, maybe as you go along, if someone were to say to you, or you think that there's an agenda item that we should discuss at a meeting, just make a note of it. But when it comes time to do the agenda, you've got all that in front of you. That's my only yep. suggestion. Okay. I'll take it. Thank you very much. And that's okay. all I have on the agenda list. Piece of cake tonight, huh? Well, well it would have been longer if uh, Mike stuck in. I didn't hear you. Looking you know, forward to yeah, well, we're looking forward to talking to Mike Sespian tonight about E.L. Harvey. Yeah, I texted him. He didn't get back to me. Um, I would be very interested in obviously um, finding out from Mike what the process is if we were going to just re-up with them. Did they get a letter, do you know? Yes, I did send out a letter. That was my first duty when I first got in that first week. I did extend the contract, so we are on the second year extension right now. Cool. So nothing else has to be done. We're all set. No. Wait a minute. We're all set. We need to... AJ, we need to make arrangements for next year. Yeah. I mean, it, that's that has to be done, but I mean, not urgently. But what I'm saying is I, I, I would look forward to getting a, a read on the craft industry from Mike. So what industry? Because crash industry. Trash business. Trash. Your, your 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 voice keeps going high, then low, very dim. We can barely hear you sometimes. It's it, it's in and out. All right. I apologize. It must be my um, buds or whatever they they called. Earbuds. Let me, yeah, that's it. Let me. Yeah. Uh, that'll be any better. Um. Uh, we, we obviously need to decide what we're going to do next year and beyond. Right. So I'd like to get a read from Mike on direction the trash and recycling industry is going. And, Definitely recycling. You know, yeah. Obviously, you know, we need to get the wheels turning on three-year contract or thereabouts some extensions like we've had in the past because if we're going to go out for bid to do that I lost notice you. sorry AJ I don't know what's going on oh I heard you say if we're going to go out to bid and then I lost you I don't know if Jack heard you uh, no, but I do believe, believe that uh, what Alan's trying to say is that we really need to uh, start for fiscal year 2024 is to start getting the contract situation started right now, uh, especially yeah, with E.L. Harvey. And uh, I did get an email from uh, Mike Sespian yesterday asking for a prevailing wage request. Uh, so I'm assuming that's what he's referring to is to start a new contract with the town of Menden uh, before he begins that. I sent that request over to HR yesterday, and I'm just waiting on a response. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Thank no you, problem. Jack. 
And uh, when speaking with Tom today about E.L. Harvey, thinking that Mike was going to be on, uh, he was thinking that we might go to a single stream in regards to recycling. So instead of paper being one week and the rest of it being the opposite week, we might go to everything all in one bucket type of recycling. Because I guess back in the day, paper was worth money and we were getting a re- the town was getting a rebate back. And I guess that's no longer the case with China. Right. Does that, does that sound familiar? It does. So I guess um, Tom said that we haven't been getting the rebate back from the paper for almost two years now. And he wanted to find out from Mike tonight if he thought that was going to change in the future. Uh, basically deciding if we should just keep it as is for recycling paper one week, the others the next week, or just do a single stream. Everything's all in one bucket. Okay. Jack? Yes. Um, the best thing to ask Missy on Friday would be um, maybe where the wheel of Breda contract is and how yep. many years we have left on that agreement. Okay. Um, because that could affect our trash contract in the future. Okay. All right, so we cover everything. I believe so, Mr. Chairman. Motion. I'll make a motion ahead, to Alan. adjourn. <laughs> I'll step down and second the motion. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, thank you. Good night. Good night.